Hokey dokey. In this problem, we are given a chart of our and the natural log of bacteria mass values, and the goal is to use these values to find the original bacteria mass function. So the first step is to find the slope between these two points given in the chart. So we'll just use the regular y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 with the values in the chart. So it'll look just like this, 11.398 minus 9.598, and we will divide this by 5 minus 3. So let's go ahead and open Desmos and plug this in here. 9.598, 9.598, and then divide it by 5 minus 3. So this gives us a value of 0.9. So our slope is 0.9. So what that tells us when we're looking for our answer, it tells us that we will have a function of the form e to the 0.9t. That represents the slope with that M there. So we're looking for either this one or this one, option C or G, so we can eliminate immediately all the other options because we are looking for something of the form E to the 0.9T. Now, all that's left to do is basically trial and error these different functions. So for instance, we are going to plug in a T value into one of these. So we can plug in the T value three into option C. So we'll have 90e to the 0.9 t in which, uh, in place of which we are putting t equals three. So we're gonna calculate this and this will give us some bacteria mass value. So let's go ahead and do that. We have 90e raised to the 0.9 times three And that'll give us about 1339.18. Uh, and again, this is the bacteria mass value, but keep in mind in the chart, we have ln of that bacteria mass value. So that's why I say in this last step, to take the natural log of this bacteria mass value we just found in order to find ln of the bacteria mass. And we're going to see if this value matches the one in the chart corresponding to t equals three. So we will take the natural log of the previous answer, the 1339.18, and we get about 7.2. And as we can see, 7.2 does not match this 9.98 here. So that eliminates C. And just to demonstrate, we will try out option G and just show why g is our correct answer. So now, instead of using the 90 times e to the 0.9 times three, we will use 990 uh, times e to the 0.9 times three. And so we're using this function and plugging in three, so we get a bacteria mass value of 14,730. So we're gonna now plug that in. to the natural log, and that will give us 9.6 approximately. So 9.6 matches what we have in the chart for the value of the natural log of the bacteria mass. So we break out the eraser, and we see that G is in fact our answer. Feel free to check out another example. I'll work out for this one.